How's it going, everybody? Welcome back! Welcome back to Tropico 6 Caribbean Skies! Certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back despite the fact that things are falling apart terribly. I am definitely excited to be back. Uh, we have a lot of things that need to be rebuilt and that need to be rebuilt kind of urgently at that. Because a lot of my supply lines have just fallen apart. For example, route or route. Two right here is uh, having some trouble, so we need the start point of that to be over there. Bringing some nickel over to the battery plant. And then Route 3 on you needs a start point from there, and we'll get that confirmed as well. We also have issues such as this right here. The, uh, let's see. So this was originally bringing some things... Bringing some cigars down to the docks, so we'll get that confirmed. And I think that sorts all of the drone the delivery lines, the at the very least, all which is fine. But we are just in a bit of a pickle, because for some reason... Okay, so you're, you're happy. $10,000, I will take that. Drone taxis, sure, we'll do that as well. Um, so, yeah, we are in a bit of a pickle because, for some reason, the army didn't respond to the guerrilla threat that we had before, which I'm not thrilled about. But I'm also a little wary of the fact that we just do not have a situation where we end up with good amounts of money. And we should be in a situation where we have good amounts of money. We should be. We just... We're just not. We're just not in that kind of good situation right now. So we'll keep letting things get rebuilt here and there. For example, this needs to be rebuilt. This Teamsters office, I might as well rebuild, even though we are, you know, probably getting rid of all of the Teamsters at some point. I imagine that's kind of the goal here. You settle down. Settle down, all right? The Teamsters are going. We're doing everything by drone, all right? This is, this is, we're doing everything that we can by drone. Uh, now, anyway, they wanted drone taxis. I'm curious about that. So, transport people to their destinations within the area of effect. It's 10,000 to build this thing. I can do it, even though I don't have 10,000. Uh, the area of effect on this thing is also pretty solid. So, I mean, I could put it there and have a pretty good... It's got a pretty good radius. Let's zoom right out and we can have a look. So, if I put it... Let's see, zoom right out. I've, I've wanted zoom. Damn it. Uh, so if I put it in there, that's pretty good. If I put it, I think here is probably our best spot. Or in here. No, I think I think down here. I definitely think down here is the best spot for the, uh, the drone taxi service. So let's go for there. And even though we can't afford it, I will get it built. And we'll see if that actually ends up working. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I would need to research... Passenger drones, I guess. So let's have a little look at research, which we're barely doing, which is great. And let's see here. So modern times, drone factory. And I don't think I can move that to the, to, to the front there. Uh, I feel like we're absolutely going to be needing a considerable amount more research if we ever want that to be super useful for us. Uh, let's also rebuild that modern apartment while we're here. We'll just try and get everything sort of up and working. And also, thinking about it, produce plastics. That's been sitting there for a little while. Let me, uh, let me take a look here. Industry. So, plastics plant. It's going to be 10,500. But we can export plastics. And it is also just a general goal that we have at the minute. So, I reckon a plastics plant could go... I mean, I guess this is kind of where all of our industry is right now. So I guess a plastics plant right there with another drone delivery service going, I guess, back there. And we'll go ahead and instant build that because it's relatively cheap to do. And uh, the gorillas are attacking again. Fantastic. Uh, route one from there to there. And confirm. Route number two needs... Plastics. So destination is there, except oil from here. So we'll confirm. And then route number three is going to be from there to there as well and confirm. 
Actually, no. Route number three is not going to be that. It's going to start... Uh, destination is going to be there, and the start is going to be there. Wait, none of the resources can be transported, so we can't export plastics. So we'll just export oil, I guess. Interesting. Let me, uh, let me, let me, hmm. Let me have a look at trade. So trade, I guess, what in the hell do plastics get used in then? So we have, let me, let me see here. Industry, plastics, plant, pr processes oil to produce plastics. That's steel and rubber. Processes gold and plastics to produce electronics. Ah. Okay. So the electronics factory is likely what we'd be wanting. Because I don't, I guess we can't export plastics on their own. That's fine. Uh, we'll run things at a decent speed and see how it goes then. Hopefully pretty well. We have drones moving. Uh... Oh, there's the army going out. Good. What the hell are the gorillas actually attacking here? They're attacking the fashion company. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, fair enough. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's fine, boys. All right. I hope my soldiers can get there in time. It looks like, yeah, they're going to be fine. Oh, and the fight's going to start. Are my soldiers any good is the next question. So these guys are dying pretty quick, and my soldiers are dying about just as quick. That's worrying. I kind of don't know who's going to win this fight. The rebels. Good. Love it. Okay. Next question. Why the hell did it only send out one group of soldiers? That's... So... Defend... You guys... You, you should be defending the building as well. Because now, these guys are going to come over and they're going to be able to... Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Alright. So for whatever reason, my soldiers are just not doing anything. Do they not live nearby? Is that what it is? Do they... Is is that the problem? Is that the soldiers aren't nearby so they can't... Do... I don't even know. Um, this thing's on fire now. That's great. Wait, are they attacking something else? Hold on a minute. Tropico is under attack. I don't think they are attacking something else. I think we're okay. There's the soldiers going out. You're a little bit late, lads. I'm going to be honest with you. I I do have to be honest. You know, you're you're a little a little bit late to the party on that one. Unless they are going to attack something else. I honestly don't. Yeah, they're just going to defend the building. It's already on fire. I, it, I, I, I don't. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Uh, let me see here. So, I want to have a look at population real quick. So, there's a lot of homeless families. A lot of them are broke. There's two that are well off. There's a few that are poor. There's a few vacant homes. Which is interesting. There's a lot of people unemployed. Now, that has me thinking that the 68 homeless families might very well be also the unemployed ones. Workplace, you're in college, you're unemployed. Yeah, so, the, the, so unemployment is leading to homelessness. We need to generate some jobs. But my question then becomes, so education is high school, uneducated, uneducated, uneducated. Can we have people that are uneducated working in a warehouse, for example? Would would that be an idea? I don't know if it actually creates jobs. Uh, factory ranch. No, it needs education, looking at it. So that's, yeah, so factory ranch is education level four or five for the fishermen's. I, I don't know. I'm looking at the little education symbol there next to power. I don't know what each one of those means. Warehouse is non-existent. I don't know if the warehouse actually requires is a any so education. I, I, I really don't know. Let's quick build it and have a look. What were you going to do in there? So yeah, it actually doesn't. 
So that's worrying. Um, let's allow storage of... I guess all trade goods? I don't... I honestly don't know here. Um, passenger drones, wool weapons, etc, etc. Apparel. Allow pros processing, allow transport to dock. Yeah, this... So this, this was a waste. I don't... I don't... I don't need this. Wait. Random warehouse. Increase the storage capacity of each storage slot. No. Let's just demolish this because I just... I just don't need it. So what can I do for basic jobs? Logging camps, for example? Coconut harvesters? Fish farms? Hmm. Okay. Let's do... I guess... Logging camps and... Plantations just don't seem worth it. Logging camps, on the other hand, I mean, they they kind of do seem a little worth it. So let's throw, I guess, a logging camp back there. And we'll bring a road out to it, sort of like this. Uh, that can go like that. So that'll give us room for another solar plant if I want one. Which I kind of do. I'll be honest. I do kind of want another solar plant, but we'll see. Uh, we do have a bit of homelessness up and around here as well. So we'll throw in, I guess... It must be well-off or better. It must be at least poor. Well-off or better. It must be at least poor. I don't think we need another tenement, I'm going to be honest. But we'll put one uh, new tenement just in there. And see how that goes for us. And then for the fire in Tropico, this is still very much on fire. But it looks like it's being dealt with, which is fantastic news. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, let's just speed things up and see what happens. Because I think the money situation... Yeah, there we go. So revenue is a, a fair little bit higher than, uh, than expenses right now. Which is what we want. So we'll kind of just let things keep going. And also, I'm just noticing this has a broken line on it. So, the start isn't configured on this right now. So, start there and your destination, I guess. Can I have you start? Hold on. So, clear the route. Start there. Go there. So, yeah, we, we, can, we can export plastics. That's fine. Uh, gorillas are attacking again. They're going for this. The army right now looks like it's doing nothing. Yeah, the army, the army by the looks of it, again, for whatever reason, I, on way to barracks, on way to hospital, on way to tavern, on way to barracks, tenement, barracks, barracks. So, good to see you. so the problem is that the army does not live near the barracks by the looks of it. On way to golf course. Nice. Nice. Good priorities there, bud. Yeah, it, it kind of seems like the army not living near the barracks is part of the reason that the uh, army may not be responding to certain things very well. That kind of has me inclined to think that building... Uh, I really want an aircraft carrier. I really do. Or drones that can... Huh... I don't think we have so logistics surveillance drones. I feel like uh, batteries and cloth for that one. Oh, yeah, we are gonna need we're gonna need to do that research. Hold on a minute. Uh, so right now we're working on this. Research is terrible. We really need more knowledge. We really need more knowledge. Um, army still. There we go. They're finally deploying. And then these guys are not. They might be about to deploy, though. It looks like a few more are arriving on base. There we go. So they're deploying at long last. Might be a little bit too late. I'm not actually certain. It looks like it might have just been in time for those guys. Actually, I think, yeah, the gorillas were defeated. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so that should create some jobs. And that's 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 fine. Let's just upgrade that because we can. That that's created a couple of jobs, which I certainly appreciate. 
Uh, we'll rebuild these guys, even though they're bloody useless. And, uh, yeah, I kind of want an aircraft carrier. I just kind of do. You know, I kind of want to send out... <laughs> I kind of want to send out aircraft to deal with my, uh, the gorilla, uh, threat. And, uh, I reckon putting an aircraft carrier in that cove is kind of badass. So, we're going to do that as well. And, uh, I could quick build it if I really want. You know what? Why the hell not? There we go. We have an aircraft carrier now. You know, we don't, we have, we have mass unemployment. We, uh, regularly, we regularly have, you know, people trying to get in here and, and all that stuff. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, buildings and squads around the target of the fighter planes take 20% of, oh dear. Oh boy. Um, right. Yeah, that might be a problem. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, can I move this? Wait, hold on a minute. Send the aircraft carrier to another location. <gasps> Can I legitimately just tell it to, like, go there? Oh, my God. Look at that. Is it backwards right now? Oh, I've got to... Wait. What the hell is it? Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, that makes... What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, not again. No! Not, a not again. Why? You've got to be kidding me. It destroyed my logging camp as well. That's a little frustrating. Uh, I imagine this thing is going to be... How, how expensive is this thing to run? Budget 420. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, right. So we have a lot of things that seem to have... Uh, have been destroyed here. That's a problem. There's 25,000 in exports sitting right there. We kind of need this to be back up and running. So I think that's going to be our priority. Let's get the exports in. Let's get this thing working again. So we'll get our, the we'll get the export money. There we go. So get that built. I don't really care. Wait, what the hell? We're being attacked again? Oh. Never mind. Never mind. The rebel threat is... Um, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Rebel threat just got um <laughs> Rebel threat just got blown up by a fighter jet. So I'll be honest with you. I think the rebel threat might not be much of a threat anymore. Uh if if I'm completely truthful. I feel like we're going to be okay there. Uh so so no 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 big deal. Let's get this thing rebuilt as quick as we can. And, uh, we need to transport citizens. So did I... Wait, did I build... I did build the drone taxi thing. But we need... Passenger drones. So if I go into research... I'm gonna have to clear these guys out of research. So that I can get the drone factory work modes. And then, uh... We just need more research, essentially. Now, what are you complaining about right now? So route number three needs a start point. We'll confirm. And I think we're fine. So we'll get everything kind of rebuilt. We'll get power going again. I think I am going to have to build another another solar plant, which is kind of frustrating, but I think it's going to be kind of important. It is very expensive to build one, though. But I think if we do that, it means that unless the rebels attack multiple buildings in one go, we don't really need to worry too much about what's going on there. 42,000 in exports right there. That'll be beautiful. That should give us enough to build the solar plant. So we should get that money any second. There it is. And uh, yeah, I am just going to say that we'll put a solar plant right about there. Official word from the palace. And again, that we'll should crisis, but solve essentially any issues the with, uh, with power. Which will be lovely. So let's set that to high priority as well. I, I'm not going to bother quick building it. Seems like a waste. We're going to take some intellectual standing right there. Because we did just produce some plastics. And we'll slow things down and take a look at trade routes real quick. So. Canned goods. Jewelry to the EU might not be bad. Leather to Russia. Plastics are actually really cheap, so no. Let's do jewelry to the EU, and let's do... Let's do that. Weapons as well. Weapons would be a good one. Um, but let's do... Let's do... 
this right here. We'll sign that contract. Uh, we'll purchase a trade license, and there we go. So now we have four active trade routes, three of which are jewelry. I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. That's a little worrying. So, if I could afford this, a little bit more efficiency would be nice. De decrease job quality by 10, increase production by 10%. Sure. We can do that, I guess. That seems reasonable. Um, and we'll do this as well. So there we go. It now needs power, but it should be a bit more efficient, which is exactly what we need. Uh, my thinking at this point, though, is that we really need to be... I love, I love this. I love this so much. I really do. We really need to be doing better with these exports because we've had to spend so much money on construction again. This this keeps on happening. And I mean, exports are kind of the big thing. Batteries are actually a really big one as well. I didn't realize we were exporting batteries. But then rent is a big income as well from offices and the modern apartments and whatnot. I guess it's whatever. Uh, let's have a little look at research. So we've almost got this global market economy constitution topic, which is great. I think we're going to need to have a look at uh, media and education. And I think I want to get this blueprint. And we need $16,000 to build a research lab. It also takes a fair bit of power. Uh, that should be okay. I guess in the meantime, maybe another library? I guess maybe another library just to boost research. I don't know if it is a very... I don't know if it's going to be like a linear boost to research. I don't know if there's like, you know, eventually the libraries are uh, useless in terms of, you know, stacking a bunch of them. But we'll see how it goes. We'll get uh, we'll get another one there. Fill up that little space and hope for the best. Uh, we'll go ahead and queue you to be rebuilt. What the hell is... Uh, I'm pushing your buttons. That's... It's fine. We've only got nine teamsters. Really? These guys are back. What are they... Wait, what are they targeting? I think they might be targeting the... Yeah, they're attacking that again. Where are they? Where? Oh, they're up here. Okay, so they're attacking the tower. Do we have a plane on the way to deal with that? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see how this goes. So the plane comes in. And, uh... That was beautiful. There's another one. Okay, and... Yeah, there's one of them left. And the army's kind of on the way as well. So by the looks of it... Yeah, there ain't gonna be much in the way of, uh... There ain't going to be much in the way of, of, of rebel threats for a while. Which I like. I, I kind of like that we don't have to worry too much about the uh, the, the, the rebel threats anymore. Uh, right, so. What are we not exporting right now? We're not exporting leather. We're not exporting chocolate. Are we making chocolate? We are. And we could upgrade this thing if we really wanted to. Increased job quality by 20%. Building requires an additional 15 megawatts of uh, electrical power. I think we're fine. Let's speed things up a little bit. We get some money from the exports there. Let's get this thing queued up to be rebuilt because we do kind of need it. And how's this going in terms of jewelry? Hopefully pretty well. So there's no jewelry in there right now. There's already 12,000 worth of revenue in there. Decrease the generated crime in the dock by 15. Decrease efficiency by 20%. I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, we have a task here. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. All right. Uh, so, let's have ourselves another little look at research. Knowledge production is one. We've almost got this, which is beautiful. I do really want to get this research lab. I think that would be huge for us, getting the uh, the research lab in here. Because it would just be such a boost to, well, research. And it would also let us upgrade the drone uh, setup a little bit. 
So this has... Wow, that has a lot of batteries in there. We need another drone factory. I feel like we need another drone factory, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, there's not really enough nickel still, which is a bit of a worry, but whatever. Can we... So we can't upgrade you right now. That's fine. We'll not worry too much about it. We'll just wait for uh, we'll wait for the cargo ship to come in, and then I guess we'll sort this out a little bit. We did just get that research for the global market economy, which is fantastic news. So we'll upgrade you. We'll slow things down, and I am sort of feeling like another drone factory might not be a terrible idea. Because yeah, this thing again has no nickel right now. Uh, aluminium is is not an issue, so. Let's do another automated mine for nickel. And I could throw it right there. Uh, I would rather throw it somewhere that's not, you know, uh, in the middle of everything, but it doesn't look like that's going to be much of an option. I also feel like I could put it there, but I need to do one of those dock things, and I don't really feel like doing that right now. So, yeah, I guess the nickel mine is going to go right about there. And that's fine. We'll also quick build it. We'll also upgrade it. And then we'll connect it to the drone network. So, not drone taxi. That's not what I wanted. Drone delivery service. Let's just throw it there, I guess. We can go ahead and I think we can set up the lines on this. We'll quick build it. Uh, no, we can't set up the lines until it's built. So, rat number one is going to be from you. Go into there. And confirm. Uh, number two, I'm not going to set up yet. Because what I'm thinking is industry drone factory. And I'm thinking we put another drone factory maybe down here. Or we could actually put it right there. Which I like the idea of doing. So we'll do a drone factory there with a uh, little road connection like this. We can also get that to be a high priority. And then what we'll do is from this guy, we'll say, go ahead and bring, well, I, I, hmm. Now, what do you, what does this need? What do drone factories need? Batteries and aluminum. So, I guess you are actually going to be doing, so that's nickel. That's fine. So you're going to be doing batteries to the new drone factory. And then you're also going to be doing, I guess, aluminum. Uh, let's set your destination, though. So you are going to need, what is this? Cloth. Oh, it is going to need cloth as well, because that it's it's if it's doing passenger drones, it absolutely does need cloth. Yeah, um, that's going to be tricky. Let's set that up for the time being. The citizens are demanding elections. They want elections. We get 77% of the support. That's fine. Uh, what are the issues right now? What are the what are the issues? Uh, liberty happiness is still not good, so we'll address that. We will praise the industrialists again. We will blame no one this time. And we will... Uh, we broke the last promise, so that's fine. And we'll deliver that speech. So that'll, I, I, yeah, I don't care about the speech this time. We're not going to watch it again. Uh, we're still pretty much a guarantee for the election. So no major worries there. We'll not, we'll not stress too much about it. Uh, this is still going to need passenger drones. I'm not going to import those or anything like that. We're just going to have to wait until the research is done. And we're, we're getting there. So no big deal. We'll just go ahead and speed things up, get some money in here, and then hopefully get ourselves a research lab once the uh, the ship comes in. Assuming we're going to get enough from the uh, from the exports. Yeah, we did. Let's pause things real quick. And research lab. Where can I put this thing? I guess back here. Doesn't seem like a bad place for it. It's it's kind of a cool it's kind of a cool place. Very interesting building to put behind mansions and stuff, though. Maybe... Maybe you could just go here. Yeah, right here is a good spot. Which means I'm not going to be rebuilding that watchtower, I guess. But whatever. 
get that there, make it a high priority. And we'll go ahead and speed things up and get that done. And that'll let us get our passenger drones a little bit quicker. Now, let's rebuild you as well. And uh, we have got a fire going too. We've actually got a couple of fires going. We got one down there. And we get one here as well. That's a bit of a worry. And apparently, I, I, I just heard, yeah. So where are you going? Oh, we have rebels attacking multiple targets right now. And they're very close to the targets too. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I also still don't like that the army takes so long to mobilize because they're so far away. That's kind of a pain, but I, I think we'll be okay. We might lose a watchtower or something, but I mean, for the most part, I think, yeah, the threat's been dealt with. So, uh, no, no big deal there. As long as we have the aircraft carrier, I think we're fine. And truth be told, I'm actually thinking we can move the aircraft carrier at some point once we have the money. I think moving the aircraft carrier around here might be better because most of the attacks do seem to be there and I think that would be a little bit closer than that. So let's move you to that spot right there. It'll take a while, but that's fine. Also, we still need to invite Russia to an embassy, so uh, we have a bunch of them up here. Let's invite Russia. And that'll keep them kind of happy. I'm going to take $5,000 for that. We can also invite the USA. We can invite the EU. We can invite, I mean, uh, Middle East or China. Uh, Middle East, I guess. And then we can invite China to this one. So we have an embassy for all of the foreign superpowers, which is probably for the best. You know, they're all on a nice level playing field. And this needs sugar right now. I've just noticed that, uh, I have noticed a few of the buildings are complaining about not enough, uh, supplies. I reckon I know why that is. That's, that's likely going to be because of the simple fact that we, uh, we don't really have Teamsters all that much these days. So let's, let's get this built. And let's set this up to go from there to there. And let me just make... Let me have a look at this. So there's no drones being delivered to there. So let's set it up so that drones are coming in from here to there as well. And then we'll set Route 3, destination there, and then we need sugar. And it can come in from there. And that'll hopefully get the uh, the chocolate production back up a little bit, which is exactly what we want and what we need. There's so many drones. Good Lord. Uh, how goes the research? Oh, yeah, it's getting there. OK, so I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling kind of confident about, you know, how things are right now. I'm kind of liking this. I love seeing seeing the drones all moving about is kind of cool. I got to be honest. What was this? A bunkhouse. Oh, yeah, we do probably want to rebuild that. Also, I feel like things aren't on fire anymore. So that's nice. So that's, that's always good. Uh, let's see, 10,000 there. We still need so many more exports. We do still have these active trade routes as well. And we have exported so little in terms of apparel. Same with jewelry. We really need to increase the apparel one. So... <laughs> this is making apparel. It's just not doing very good. Increase the housing quality of residential buildings within a radius of 12 grid cells by 5%. Production is decreased. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, no. Did I just hear the word meteor? You are kidding me. This just got rebuilt! Come on! I needed that! Poor people simply don't understand the pressures of wealth. Oh my god. Okay. And there's a rebel threat again. Good. What are they attacking this time? Oh, they're going for this again. Okay, fantastic. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I needed that one too. I kind of need all of them. Also, where's my aircraft carrier right now? Where is my aircraft carrier right now? 
No. No. No, man, I needed that thing. The army's not doing anything because they're never there. This guy's at a golf course. You are kidding me. We might have, we might have one. We might have one group of soldiers come over here. Yeah, there we go. So we have one group of soldiers. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah, they can vote freely. We don't need to influence anything. We get 79% of support. That's fine. Oh my god. These meteor showers are such a pain, man. I really hate them. I also hate that I have to do this. This is really frustrating. I gotta be completely honest with you. Having to redo the friggin' trade routes every- Because it, it does save them, right? Like, look at this, right? It's like, oh, but this isn't configured. There's no uh, start destination on Route 1. There is. It's, the, it's, all, it's saving it. It's, you know, if I rebuild the building, just continue the same route. I don't understand why I have to manually approve it. If I demolish the building, then sure. It's like, oh, you know, maybe we don't want to save the route because, you know, if we save the route, then... Uh, it's it's on a building that I manually demolish. But if it's a meteor oh, shower, export trade route with the Middle East. We can do that. We can uh, we can certainly do that. Uh, I guess maybe the the rebels got dealt with there. The election is a landslide, oh, fantastic! Right, let's see here. Global market economy. Disable all trade route offers and increase the standard export prices of five by of all goods by five percent. That seems like a terrible idea. Free trade is default, and then international trade partnership. All trade route, all export trade route prices are increased by ten percent, while standard export prices of all goods are decreased. I think we're just gonna keep fair uh, free trade. Is what we're gonna do. So that's fine. We're not going to bother changing anything about that. Um, and then the other thing we needed to do was... Uh, I think we just need more apparel. So I think we need another fashion company. So looking at industry, fashion company is going to be 18000 Which we can now suddenly afford. Uh, so I think two of these would be an idea. I don't know if we have enough workers for it, but... We'll give it a shot. We'll set that to be a high priority as well. Uh, and then we'll also say rebuild you. And I don't think we actually lost too much in that meteor shower. Which is kind of lovely. It's kind of a nice change not losing too much. It's, it's, it's nice, you know, not having to worry about just getting blown up constantly. But 12,000 in here. We really... I'm looking at this and I, I can't help but think that I just need more drones bringing all these different things in here. Oh good, that's on fire. Of okay. Are well that's great. Let's... Let's figure something out here. Anyway, let's, let's get... I mean, milk is a pretty big export. Can I use milk in industry for something? Is it is it something I can convert into something else? Like I can so yeah, milk into cheese, right? And we do have a creamery, I think. I'm almost certain that we do. So we have a creamery there. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we need to set up drones that can take different exports and sort of end products to to the docks, right? So if we go in and I set up a drone delivery service, I'm going to set one up just up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one, two, three right there. And I'm going to quick build this one as well. Uh, actually, I want to get rid of one of those. I'm going to get rid of that one. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say you are going to have route one go from there to there and confirm. Route number two is from there to there and confirm. 
And route number three is from there to there and confirm. So that's now done. What I then want to do is say that drone, so, so this guy is going to go from the creamery to the docks and that'll be cheese to the docks. What is this building? A shopping mall. It does have cheese in there. It's making a decent bit of money as well. So that's, I don't think we need to do that. So that's now doing cheese to the docks. Let's figure out what other sort of end goods we can deal with here. So canned goods, right? Canned goods to the docks and confirm. And then route number three, what else have we got for end goods? We're already doing, I think we're already doing these guys. I, I, something I would like you to you want an me. export trade route, <laughs> trade route with Russia. Sure, we can do that. Um, can I somehow, is, is there a way I can look at overlays? I don't, I really have no idea on that one. If I could look at overlays, that would be kind of fantastic. Select El Presidente. That's not really what I'm looking for either. It's whatever, I guess. Era outline. What do you need? You need sugar right now. Okay. I mean, I guess we could do that. Um, but I'm pretty sure rum is already being moved to the docks. I just don't know which one of these things is doing it. I might be wrong. I genuinely might be wrong on that. Um, but I can't seem to find out, so whatever. Um, let's do Route 3, rum to the docks. And confirm. And then this guy, I want to do kind of a similar thing with. So I want to have it set up so that we're moving... What is this? Logs to somewhere else, I guess, if we want to. Basically, I want to set it up so that we have sort of end products being moved to different places. Right? That's that's kind of the gut. Wait, you need a road connect? Oh, no. I didn't realize that needed road connection. Well, I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move you. Um, so we'll go right there. And it's a pretty quick move, which is lovely. Uh, so there we go. What we can do with you then is... Do you have a third route available? No. Uh, so you, Route 1, leather to there, confirm. Route number 2, apparel to the docks, confirm. And Route number 3, I don't really know Route number 3, to be totally honest. Canned goods, uh, maybe we save this and we try another production line or something. Or Route number 3 can go from there to there, but it's making logistics drones right now, so I guess no, it can't. Okay, uh, that might be a little tricky, I suppose. We could take stuff to the shopping mall if we wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, so route number three, let's set the, no, hold on, back. Uh, route number three, destination docks. So the docks can take things in from, I guess batteries could be one. Plastics could be another. Let's do Let's do batteries. Let's have batteries going to the docks as well, and we'll confirm. So that's a bunch of exportable stuff now being moved to the docks by drones. And I think that'll be pretty good, because it, it, it is going to lower the number of those things available. Well, no, it doesn't really lower the number of things available on the island, but it's, it's whatever. It's fine. Let's have a look at research. I think we actually... Hold on a minute. Does, do we not have any active research? Can I change this? Ooh, I can. Okay. Drones are produced as their required resources become available. Consumes batteries, aluminum, cloth, and electronics. So, passenger drones need cloth, is what they need. Uh, so, let's, first I'll set those to rebuild and set you to rebuild. And let me go ahead and grab another drone delivery service. So, we'll put that in there. We'll quick build it. And we'll get it set up to supply itself with drones. So route one from there to there, job done. Where do I get cloth from? So cloth is coming from the textile mill. So what we'll do is set up a route number, route number two, cloth up to this guy, confirm. Route number three, this guy going to there. 
and that will give us passenger drones. So that's perfect. Uh, so we should start seeing passenger drones get made and we should start seeing people get transported around by passenger drones. So that'll be kind of cool. That's that's something I've I've absolutely Oh, look at those. Look at those. That's actually really cool, I got to be honest. Okay, I I like this. I like that a lot. I got to be honest, that is that is really freaking cool. Only 7 drones though, but I mean Whatever. Why are you even oh, no oh boy. You're not a How president. dare you? Uh, I feel like we're going to end up with a small war on our hands at some point here. The drone taxi is no priorities and services everyone in the area of effect equally. Only serves customers going to work. Only serves needs. And the area of effect increases by 25... 250%. Jesus. Uh, but there are fewer available. It won't accept short flights anymore. Okay, what if we did another taxi service right there? And then we go in and build a road, right? So the road comes down like this. And then we set the... Cons we quick build it, because I can. And then we set this to be long distance flights. So that one now covers the entire island. So if you want a long distance flight, you go to this one. And if you want a normal flight, you go to this one. That seems like a good way to do it. Ooh. I will take 10,000. Oh. Future generations are going to look at stuff okay. and museums as a testament to how inefficient This seems like the kind of final goal of this scenario, which I like. Uh, so we have the services. We need another taxi service. We need another drone to home delivery, and then we need a lot of money. Okay. So they need a college education to work here as well. Oh, boy. That complicates things a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another drone taxi service, though, and I'm, I'm inclined to kind of just put it here. But at the same time, up here would probably make a bit more sense. Maybe. I actually don't know if it would. I guess just keep it in the middle. We'll just keep it there. Yeah, we'll just do there. That's fine. Uh, so that'll be our third drone taxi service. And uh, quick build it because I can. Just to get that objective out of the way. We do need another, another drone to home delivery. Which is 12,000. So we can't afford that right now. No big deal. Oh, and also we're actually going to need another set of drone delivery services too. Uh, so we'll throw a drone delivery service back there and quick build it. Slow things down and then what we'll do is set this up to be supplying itself again. So route one from there going to the delivery service itself. Route number two from there going to this guy and confirm. And route number three going from you to that one right there and confirm. Perfect. Okay. So now we have a bit of money. We can get ourselves a drone to home delivery service, which I reckon would be really cool if I could have fit back here, but I can't. Uh, so drone to home delivery service. I'm just going to keep it over in this area near where the other one is. And that'll be beautiful. So that'll get us nicely situated with uh, with that. Can I quick build this? Yeah, we might we might as well. So drone to home delivery service, we need to set the delivery area. And I reckon the delivery area could be there. Not really much of a delivery area. There's a lot of people living down here. Now these guys up there are already serviced. There's a lot of people living in this area that are not getting serviced right now. There's a few people living in there. I'm inclined to stay up here just to keep these guys happy. So let's do, let's do, um, let's do there. That's fine. So that'll now be working. And uh, we're probably going to need another, another one of these guys. Most likely. And then yeah, it's just a money, it's just a, a question of money at this point. So 
Let's get another drone delivery service set up. And we'll do, um, I mean, it's going to need drones itself for one. Route number two, destination here, accepting fish. Seems fine to me. And route number three, destination here, accepting meats and hides. We'll get that confirmed as well. Uh, now, we do have a rebel threat by the looks of it. And we also have that not built. Do we still... We do have the aircraft carrier too. So, yeah, the gorillas are dead. I did very faintly just hear a bomb. So, I think uh, I think we're probably good there. Now, let's see. 18,000 in there for export. A decent little number of things too, which I can't really complain about. And we also have the Middle East and Russian trade routes that we uh, need to be setting up as well at some point. We also rebuild you and rebuild you. Uh, so this is... How's it doing right now? We got logistics drones. We got passenger drones. We don't have enough electronic... Oh, electronics are for the surveillance ones. We need more cloth and we need more aluminum by the looks of it. So let's get ourselves a... Can't afford an automated mine. Okay. We're going to need more mines for one. And I think for two... Oh, no. Oh, it was a clinic. That's fine. I mean, it, no, it's not fine that a clinic got blown up, but I thought it was the... I thought it was something else. It's whatever. I think we're going to need a few more... We're, we're definitely going to be needing a few more things is what we're going to be needing. This is going to need more leather and cloth. We just need more of everything right now by the looks of it. But all these drones moving around... I got to be honest, it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of cool looking. 